Team coverage continues now here in South Florida. CBS 4's Jacqueline Quinn is live in Doral with the local efforts to provide aid for the hard hit communities in Kentucky. Jacqueline. Elliot, we're here at GEM, and crews here are very busy loading this trailer here, and I'll give you a look at what they're putting there. You know, these people don't have a lot right now, so this right here, this is an air mattress, and of course, along with this, those basic essentials, of course, water here, and local organizations like this one say they really haven't dealt with something of this magnitude in quite some time. The way our founder, Michael Capone, described it is a Cat 6 hurricane. That does not exist. So the magnitude is ginormous. The Global Empowerment Mission in Doral sent us these pictures of its crew surveying the area to make sure relief supplies get into the hands of people in need. 24 hours after the tornadoes hit, we were already boots on the ground. In some areas, rescue crews are still working to find missing people. For others, they can't return home. Mostly we are sending bedding. We are sending mattresses. People are displaced now and have no place to sleep. We are sending our gem necessity kits that have food, hygiene supplies, hydration kits. And in Miami, the Red Cross is also working to ramp up aid. It looks like an absolutely terrible, terrible situation where there's thousands of homes just leveled to the ground and families who, who aren't going to be able to celebrate Christmas the way they were expecting. Debbie Koch is the executive director of Red Cross Greater Miami. She tells us a handful of people are already on their way and she's getting ready to leave soon. There are, as last I heard, eight Red Cross shelters open across the territory. Um, we're expecting more families to find us as the, um, as the word gets out. The Red Cross estimated close to 200 people stayed at those shelters Sunday night. That number may start to increase in coming days. Having but these natural disasters that really sneak up on you can be so devastating. And, and I think that's really what they're experiencing here in primarily in Kentucky, but across all four states. Now, they always appreciate monetary donations here, but they're also looking for volunteers in Doral. I'm Jacqueline Quinn, CBS 4 News.